Hey everyone, welcome back to the Robo Army channel. We are super excited to start our firefighting robot project series. Since this project is a bit advanced, we decided to break it into three detailed videos, step by step guidance. In the first video, we will focus on testing the four wheel chassis movement using an Adreno and L298 in motor driver. In the next videos, we will show you how to assemble all the components of the firefighting robot, how to upload the code, test it working, and things to keep in mind while operating it. So let's get started with our first concept, moving our four-wheel chassis. Here what we will need for the today's tutorial, one Arduino Uno, one USB cable, one L290 and motor driver module, one double battery holder with the switch, some jumper wax, one screwdriver, one acrylic four-wheel chassis. If you want to learn how to assemble the four-wheel acrylic chassis, click the i button above. We have already uploaded a detailed step-by-step -step tutorial for that. Now let's move on to the wiring. Place the L290 and motor driver on the top side of your chassis. The motor driver has two output channels leveled out 1, out 2, out 3 and out 4. Take motor 1 and motor 2 wires diagonally and connect one wire from each motor to out 1. Connect the remaining wires of motor 1 and motor 2 to out 2. Similarly, connect motor 3 and motor 4 to out 3 and out 4 respectively. Take the double battery holder and place it on the chassis. Insert the red wire into the plus 12 volt slot on the motor driver and tighten the screw. Insert the black wire into the GND slot. Now place the Arduino Uno on the chassis, power the Arduino from the motor driver. Connect plus 5 volt from the motor driver to VIN on Arduino. Connect GND from the motor driver to GND on Arduino. Now it's very important, don't remove the clips on the L290 and mod module. Finally, connect the control pins of the motor driver to the Arduino as follows. In 1 to pin 5, in 2 to pin 6, in 3 to pin 9, in 4 to pin 10. Make sure to double check all connection with the circuit diagram. Now let's test the movement of our chassis using a simple Arduino code. Step 1. Download the code file from the description below. Step 2. Open in the Arduino ID. If you don't have an Arduino ID, download it first. Let's quickly go through what this code does. This define which Arduino pins are connected to the motor driver. Here we set all motor delivered pins as output so Arduino can control the motors. The loop function makes the robot move forward, backward, left, right for 2 seconds each. Then stops for 2 seconds. Each function controls the direction of rotation of the motors to make the chassis move accordingly. Forward function makes both motors spin forward, backward function spins them backward. Left and right function spin motors in opposite direction to turn. Stop robot function stops all motors. Now once you have checked everything, connect the Arduino to your computer USB cable. Select the board and port in the Arduino IDE. Click upload. Once the code is uploaded, switch on the battery and watch your robot move. It should go forward, backward, turn left and turn right each for 2 seconds. And that's it for part 1 of our firefighting robot series. In the next video, we'll mount the flame sensor and test how the robot detects fire detection and add servo motor relay water pump to see how it extinguishes fire. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe so you don't miss the next part. Robo Army. One-stop global community for teens in robotics and AI.